Welcome everyone. In the previous videos, we have learned the leg preparations and facing operation. Today we're going to do the turning operation to cut off the longitudinal workpiece material. Let's see our drawing plan again. This is our drawing plan. As we've seen here, we have cut off the workpiece length in the previous video until 85 millimeters by facing operation. Now we have to cut off the diameter of the workpiece until 30 millimeters along the 25 millimeters in length. Okay. Now we get back into the application. Just like our previous facing tutorial, first I'm gonna calibrate the cutting tool datum by touching the cutting tool until hearing the sound of cut and then calibrate the hand wheel into zero position in both longitudinal and transversal position. First I'm gonna turn off, uh, sorry, turn on the machine and rotate the spindle counterclockwise. I didn't change the uh, spindle speed, it's still on the uh, 630 RPMs and also for the uh, uh, feet gears and also for the feet, it's also the same 0 0.5 on longitudinal and 0 0.2 on transversal. I will not repeat the explanation about how I calibrate the datum of the cutting tool. I just want to do it right now. Now we have finished our calibration. Now carry away the cutting tool from the workpiece a little bit in the longitudinal position in the front of the workpiece. Like this. And increase the depth of cut of by increasing the tool post hand wheel measurement two millimeters only per cut. Two millimeters only. And click the thumbs up and left arrow button in the screen lower right corner to move the carriage in slow motion. And then it will automatically cut off the workpiece. Be careful that you may exceed the limit, exceed the measuring of cut, measurement of cutting. So our final cutting length is 25 millimeters. And before it reach the 25 millimeters, we must stop our automatic movement like this and continue our cutting slowly using manually sliding the carriage hand wheel until it reach 
exactly 25 millimeters. Okay, after finish it, carry back the cutting tool backward using automatic movement and repeat this process until our final diameter in 30 millimeters is reached. Remember, two millimeters per cut only, and our final diameter is 30 millimeters. Okay, I will turn off the uh, coolant fleet. After finish our work, don't forget to measure the diameter first and the length to make sure our measurement is correctly according to the drawing plan. Let's turn off the spindle and the machine first. Okay. Now we click the uh, Ferner Caliper Picture button at the second row of the right bar from the button. Now let's take a look at our diameter. Put the yellow line exactly to the green line. Okay, now our diameter measurement is exactly at 30 millimeters and we should also measure the length. Okay, now our length is exactly at 60 millimeters. 
So uh, the total length of the workpiece right now is 85 millimeters, and 85 millimeters minus 60 millimeters is 25 millimeters. So it is correctly exactly like our drawing plan before. Okay. All right. Yeah, after finish, don't forget to turn off the machine. I have turned it off and do the cleaning in the basket for throwing the lead chips. Okay. All right. Now our operations for turning today is over. That is our video today and we will proceed into the next video for grooving operation and chamfering operation. Thank you for the time and good luck.